All right, I'm here with Mary. You just finished second in the Penn Relays Mile. Yeah. How's that feel? I know you wanted to win. I wanted to win, but I mean, to be honest, it was like a first contact, you know, with outdoor season. Uh, we wanted to break the train a little bit, and I feel better than I expected. I mean, I, I lost the race, but it's still like, it's good to like, you know, come back to the track, come back to Penn Relays, and just kind of like, you know, get a little different effort than just a workout. Yeah. Good memories here? Yeah, very good memories. I mean, now my, my teammates are racing the 4x8, you know, last year I had so much fun here. I mean, I think it's the most special event I've been part of in college and also like playing professional running, you know? And uh, yeah, so it's always uh, good to come back. So let's talk about that race. You were kind of the one up front, keeping it honest, staying on the rabbit. Yeah. Did you know Jordy was coming? I expect him, you know, I train with him every day, so I know he's capable of, and I knew that that was the type of race he likes. And yeah, I mean, I was trying to hold like people you know, on the outside a little bit, and yeah, I left the inside open, and he, he was probably on my on my side. I just took it, you know, like I, I know he's uh, he's very fast at the end, and yeah, I tried to respond, but I was I didn't have anything more. Yeah. At this point last year, you would have been in the heart of a season. Yeah. You know, now the focus being shifted so far into the summer. I guess, what have you learned, or what are you doing differently? Do you feel different? Yeah, I, I do, I do, especially like, uh, I've trained a lot more like endurance and threshold, you know, like just trying to like accumulate more mass and instead of doing, uh, you know, fast work like we were doing last year, just trying to do like a lot of mild repeats, two mild repeats or like far licks. And uh, I've been feeling better, I've been feeling stronger, I still need like that, you know, uh, kick that I, I need to get out towards the end of the season, but I mean, I feel like uh, we've done everything we need to do until this point and uh, yeah, now it's, we just gotta keep working. Do you personally have like this sort of relationship with Dathan in which you give feedback and say, I need this, I need that, this is what I'm feeling, or is it kind of just like what Dathan says goes? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, we have a good communication. If I feel like I, you know, I need to like, some, do some more speed than the rest of the team, I tell him like he, he like takes it, you know, like he's gonna like, listen to me. So yeah, I mean, there's pretty good communication and we change different things for me and you know that for Jared or for Oli for example that are training the same event as me and uh, yeah we, we keep doing that week by week. So you guys had a big indoor season you know on never scared to mix it up indoors. Yeah. What does the couple weeks look like you know immediately after the indoor season? Do you take down time? Do you get right back into things? I, I did. Yeah. yeah I took like a couple of days off and then just like a week of like no workouts, your far legs and like different type of work uh, more like endurance and normal runs and then yeah you start to like do base training kind of like the fall and we haven't honestly done anything related to like 1500 work yet we've been training more like high so I've been getting my <laughs> My ass kicking every single workout by Joe and uh, you know like Oli and George and, and Jared and uh, hopefully Morgan soon. So, so yeah, I mean uh, just different, you know, like different approach to the last year. Last year I was already training pretty hard by this time. You know, obviously now you're at altitude instead of being at sea level. But like, how different are those paces for tempo runs? Were thresholds versus last year? I'm running faster, my thresholds. Give me some numbers. Year. Like, what is that? Like, five minute pace last year, 445? Yeah, I would say 440 mile pace for the threshold work. Like, that's pretty standard for us. And I mean, most of the team feel pretty comfortable doing that. Yeah, I mean, when you have like people like Joe, you know, like 440 for him doesn't feel like anything. And is that just a matter of doing it? Or, you know, like, was that the whole year? I guess it's a big jump at this point. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's development. Like, when I started in the fall, me and Jari were like way, very far behind to everybody else and slowly we were catching up. And they're still a little ahead of, of us in that type of work that, you know, we are improving week by week. And I feel both me and Jari are feeling pretty good at that pace now. But Joe's not catching you on those 200s, right? <laughs> yeah, like Joe is uh, he's in the back most of the time for the 200s, especially towards the end. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, he, he's training very well. Like, he, I, I don't know what he finished today, but he said that he felt pretty good and like what he wanted to do is like you know develop that kick a little more for the fight and the thing so so yeah it's a different type of work for him and where are we seeing you next uh well ne some running next week and then hopefully i'll start my season in, in robot yeah very cool congrats man thank you